friends, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to use Zoom's new adjustable gallery view feature. It will be great for those of you who are teachers, who are tired of seeing your students pop in and out on the screen, and just want a basic seating chart view where all of your students stay in the same spot. This will also be great for those of you playing games from my Zoom games on this channel that I have created. It will help you keep track of which students have gone before and which ones need to go next. If we're meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean, welcome. I am passionate about helping people grow closer together through fun and games. This video is part of my series on how to use Zoom. All right, let's get started with today's tutorial. I'm gonna take you over to my laptop and show you my screen. So according to the Zoom help site, this new customizable gallery view, but they will also refer to this as the adjustable gallery view, which I'll show you later, is to enhance classroom management. It's supposed to help teaching and learning, but you are to drag and drop participants in gallery view into whatever order you choose. This locks the gallery into a fixed configuration that won't shift when a new person speaks or enters the room. This is an excellent feature. So teachers can have students follow their view for a custom seating arrangement. Yes, I know we are excited about this. All right, so I had some questions about this customizable gallery view and I could not find it in my free Zoom account. So I decided to attend a Zoom, official Zoom webinar. And as you can see here in the screen, I asked this very specific question about gallery view and was it available for free and pro accounts? Um, and here's what they had to say. All right, so like so many of you, I had so many questions. <laughs> so having an expert who works at Zoom answer questions is fantastic. And they were calling it, this guy was calling, I think his name was Ricardo was calling it the new adjustable gallery view in this webinar I attended. And it says host and co-host can now reorder the gallery view and choose whether to deploy this view to participants or allow participants to create their own custom views and then shows you how to, tells you how to do that. Simply click and drag videos to the position you want in gallery view. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to show you how we are gonna do this in gallery view on my computer. But first, I took the screenshot of the webinar that says new multi-pin spotlight options that comes with this adjustable gallery view that I'm talking about. You can multi-pin and multi-spotlight with host permission. Enables users to now be able to pin up to nine participants. All right, so here's the downfall I feel like. If you have a class that has over nine students, um, you're out of luck. You can only pin nine of them and the rest of them, I guess, will just be bouncing in and out. But it will be good if you have a small class and if you wanted to keep one or a couple of students pinned, then you can do that for your meeting or your class. Again, I did find this webinar very useful. It was a little over an hour and Ricardo, the host, was very knowledgeable. You could submit questions ahead of time. He answered questions at the end of the session and walked through just basic features but then because I had submitted a question, he did cover this new option, which was super awesome. I doubt he'll ever see this, but thank you, Ricardo. I highly suggest if you need some tutorials to watch and jump on some of the Zoom webinars, I'll put some information in the description box if you would like to jump in on one of these webinars. All right, so jumping on my computer, you see I've got some participants here. I've got myself, Sean Howell, Bridget Jones, and Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Anybody else love these actors? <laughs> and you can see I just toggled between speaker and gallery view. This is a common function. I love to toggle between the two. And for this tutorial, you're going to need, well, either one you can see, and I'm gonna show you how to pin them up at the top in the new adjustable gallery view feature. And you can see they're out of order and I might want to rearrange them to put them in order. So I'm gonna click the three dots in the right of one of the player's names going to go down to the pin option. Yes, this is a new option. And this is how you can pin a person. Remember, you can pin up to nine people and they will stay in the same order that you've put them in. Super cool. So I'm pinning myself as the first one up here. I'm clicking the three dots just to make sure that I'm pinned. All right, now watch as I click on one of the players and move them around. Yep, I'm just dragging them down with my mouse so that you can see how adjustable 
the gallery view screen now is, and you can place them where you want. You can pin them also, remember, by clicking on the three little dots beside each participant's name. And you can toggle back and forth between speaker and gallery view, and they will stay in the order that you put them in if you have pinned them. All right, so you can see up here when I've clicked the top right, you have the option to reorder the pins that you pinned. You have the option to show the host order as well. So that will mean that if you are just watching, you can actually see the host, how the host has pinned the order, or you can change, you can basically change how you are seeing all the players, all the participants at the Zoom call. You can show your own view, how you want it, how you've customized and pinned your views. You can, you can view uh, the Zoom meeting according to what the host is seeing. You can view the meeting according to this highlighting the speaker coming forward and you can view uh, the entire meeting in just a gallery view that is up to 49 players so you have a lot more options now with the customizable view again um, you can pin them in different things you'll see here that I'm showing you just a variety of different viewpoints um, because Zoom loves that. Zoom loves showing different perspectives and how you are seeing the meeting depends on which perspective view, speaker, gallery, adjustable view, that will determine how you are seeing participants on your screen. It can be a little confusing, but once you know that you have these options, it kind of opens up a lot of things for you. All right, so let me show you just a couple of screenshots here because I know what I just went through probably was fast and might have been a little confusing. But here you'll see when you click the three dots on the top right of the player's, the participant's name, these are the options that you get. For the adjustable gallery view option, that is giving you the pin. That is the key little feature here that we are talking about today, um, the pin option here. And then if you click to the top right of your screen, you'll see again, speaker, gallery, follow, host, video order, release video order. And that is how you can change your perspective of who you see. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comment section down below how you plan on using the adjustable gallery view feature. Also, let me know if there are any other basic features of Zoom that you would like to know about. I'll be glad to create those videos and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.